Um, hello, so t continuing on problems from weekly contest 346, um, the second problem is lexicographically smallest palindrome. So basically with this problem we have a string S that has only lowercase English letters. And again, we can perform operations where each operation we can replace a character in S with any other lowercase character. Okay, so we can choose any other character. Um, and our task is to make S a palindrome with the minimum number of operations. And these are the operations that we can do. Um, and if we have multiple options, multiple palindromes, we can construct with the same no minimum number of operations. We want to choose the one that gives us the lexicographically smallest variant of the strings. Um, and so lexicographically smaller, of course, just means the letters are smaller. Um, so instead of choosing C, you choose A. Um, and the goal is not to return the minimum number of operations. We just choose those minimum. We just do the minimum number of changes. But the goal is to return the actual palindromic string that we'll end up with. Okay. So if we take a look at this first example, the easiest, the, the smallest thing to do, right? Because E already matches E here. Because palindrome is just the first half equals to the second half right and if you have the length is odd then the middle character um you don't need to check for the middle character right that's sort of the uh, pa what palindrome checking is and so here we compare e and e they are equal f and g are different but this c is in the middle so we don't need to worry about it but for this g we just need to change it to f and that way we get a palindrome um, and since we want to do the minimum number of operations, it doesn't make sense to change any other character because it already matches. And here, the if we we have to choose F because um, if we choose we could choose G and put G here, but then if we do that, then F is actually smaller, and so that's why we choose F. So that's the idea. It's actually even more clear in this second example. So this second example to make it a palindrome, we have to change either A B or change both C D, right? Either make s this part here be A B, right? Or make the the first part be C D. Those are the two options. So we should and both have the same number of operations of two. And so which one do we choose? Well we choose the smallest the one that gives us the smallest string which is actually changing these to a b because um because a is smaller than c so a so c d c d is bigger than a b a b and so we choose a b a b and so that's why we have this here okay um and then yeah the third example you could you can take a look at that but that's sort of the idea now one one thing to notice here is that we have only up to 1000 characters and so any open squared solution should pass fine um so let's see how we can tackle it um okay so how can we tackle this so if we look uh, at the requirements that we have is the minimum number of operations and we, among those where we have the minimum we want to choose the minimum possible string now for the first one it's easy because we just we only change strings that we have to so strings that are what we have to so what wh what do we mean by that well only if the string there is a mismatch between the first half between the character in the first half and the character in the second half that we even um that we even change the character with that if we do that then we will satisfy one because we have to like if the characters are different we have to change it, one of them right and so but and if we only do that, then we will ensure that we only do the minimum, uh, the minimum number of operations. Okay. So with that, we cover it. We cover it. So we we will check um, if there is a mismatch, and we'll change only if there is a mismatch. Okay. Now for the second part, so that's where it's a little bit tricky. So we compare the first half and the second half. How do we get the minimum? Well, in our result, let's just choose the minimum of the two and put that character. It doesn't make sense to put here B, right? Because that doesn't accomplish anything. Um, it only makes sense to, we have only two options here. If the characters are different, uh, either we put here F or we put here J, right? Th these are the only two options. And so which one do we choose? Well, we choose the one that will give us the smallest string. And the one that will give us the smallest string is choosing the minimum of the two. And so we choose the minimum of the two here, which is going to be this, F, right? So that's the idea. So we'll, which means basically here, we'll just go through the, the string. 
the first half and the second half so what that would mean is we will traverse the string like this and we will compare and we will have our result string here and we'll check so how do we obtain this one well this is just n minus i minus one if this is i okay so here if we number the indexes the first index is zero and so we compare it against index four which is just five which is just um five minus zero minus one so we compare it they are equal so we just put it and then we advance our pointer i to here and then this n minus i minus one would be now at f now they are different so we pick the minimum which is f and so we put f okay and then we proceed c so we compare c c we compare it against itself because n, mi n minus i minus one for two is just five minus two minus one which is two again okay so we just put it because it's equal and now we check um now we should stop right we only need to check um for half the string but since we want to construct the entire result we can just proceed in python once we once we reach the second half the now that our i here is here n minus i would be here so we'll pick the minimum again which would be f and then so this would be n minus i minus one here um, and then when we check e this would be n minus i minus one and so that would be um, e as well because they are equal okay so once we make the second half equal the rest here um, is going to always be equal because we already modified the first half to be equal um, and so we'll just continue so that we construct a new string you could choose to just to go over the half of the string that that that's also fine but this method is just easier um, so we saw that it works for the first example let's let's see for another example so let's take uh, a b c d okay and so for this one we'll have our result right and so first i is here and minus i minus one is here um i will call j just n minus i minus one note that j we don't move it we just get it using i okay and so uh, the position would be here the symmetric position and now we they are different and so we pick the, pick the smallest among a and d which is a and then we move i here so we compare against c it's different so we pick the smallest which is b we move i here and now the n minus i minus one would be here so we compare c and d they are different we pick the smallest so we put b and then we go to a here and we compare it against d so they are different we pick the smallest which is a and this would be the final result okay so you can see it should work in all cases and we'll always end up with a palindrome because we will make the first half and the second half equal okay um yeah and in terms of time complexity this solution as you saw here we just traversed the string once um in in both cases here so it's o of n time um, in terms of space, we are only using this result that we will return at the end, which is also open space. Okay, and that's sort of the idea here. Now let's implement it and make sure it passes. Um, okay, so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview. So uh, what we need here is first we can just go through the, the string. Um, and we need also our result string that will return at the end here. And we go through the characters one by one. And w remember, we want to get the minimum of, um, we could do if s i is different, right, then min i minus 1, um, then we want to add to res, we want to add the minimum of the 2, right, that's what we said in the overview, and so the minimum of the 2, and if they are equal, we just want to add just s i, right, it, because they are equal, it doesn't matter which one we choose, okay. Um, but actually, if you take a look, right, if they are equal, then the minimum would be just the same as this here, just because they are equal, the minimum is the same. And so we actually don't need to check if they are different, we can just do this, okay? Um, and that should be it, except here we need n, so let's just actually define n and use that across the board instead of doing, um, instead of doing length of s each time. So if we run this, um looks like there is a problem with append um yeah sorry this is a, a string so we don't we shouldn't do append because it's not a list we want to just do plus 
and that should work and it looks good let's submit and that passes okay um yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem pretty simple uh please like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye